138 in progress. We have a problem. Attention problem podcast. One old lady died in there. Oh, yeah. cool. oh. Nice. Party. <laughs> We have a problem. Potential problems podcast. Boom, motherfuckers. Whoa, that would sound a little bit. Boom, motherfuckers. Welcome. Potential problems podcast. It's Saturday. I'm no, John. It's, it's Wednesday. Oh. Wow. wow. No, fuck it. It's Saturday. We're going to go with it. It's... <laughs> Okay, it's Wednesday. That's what the fuck it is. It's, it's Wednesday, so Wednesday okay? right now. Excuse me, folks, for uh, mispronouncing uh, Wednesday yeah. earlier. It's it, Saturday. It's actually Wednesday. Yeah, if it were a show, it'd be That's So Wednesday. Like, That's So Raven. We haven't looked at Annalise Vanderpool in a while. Let's look at Annalise Vanderpool. Yeah, let me go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, it is Wednesday, Potential Problems Podcast. I'm John Cuellar. That's Alan Clark looking up Annalise Vanderpool, one of our favorite uh, subjects. Uh, I have a couple of guests we'll get to here in a minute. But uh, how are you folks doing out there? Are you folks good? I hope you uh, you had a, uh, a great weekend. Uh, uh, maybe you were out. Out at uh, Nexus Brewery last night. Oh, there's Annalise. Hey there, Annalise Vanderpool. She's got a nose on her. Yeah, yeah that's, that's how it goes. Yeah, Black Mike. Usually they. Oh, hey. Didn't we know have, you were showing up. Yeah, hey, there well, we go. Up, there we go. Just lock the door. Full crew here. See, if you had been anybody else, I would have grabbed the gun. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that's Annalise Vanderpool from That's So Raven. Anybody uh, anybody a fan of That's So Raven from back in the day? Any fans here? Black Mike. Are you directing did you? that at me? Uh, like anybody. That at me. Okay, well, uh, who said she's got a nose on her? Who's the one that was that? That uh, was me. She that was you. got a very Polish okay. nose. A very Polish nose. How do you feel about uh, Polish noses? Hiss, hiss, hiss. I have a bit of a Polish nose, so they're all right. All right. So you sympathize with Polish noses? Yes. I okay, so you shouldn't be the one saying she's got a nose on her. If Evan. anyone... If it, if anyone should be saying she's got a Polish nose on her, it should be me. Because he has another person with a Polish nose. You have the license to do that, so. Yeah, it's like why Mike can say a word that I can't say. Uh, what word is that? Uh, naggers. No, I'm sure I'm that's the word. She, yeah, yeah, I'm sure no, you could it. say that. She has got some. Look at her. Look at those. I mean, she's. That's Annalise Vanderpool, Mike. Thirty. But still, she's I mean, thirty. Yeah, she looks young for Ish. thirty. Well, well, I mean, I'm sure that's fucking a cake of makeup, but does anybody think she's a little bit draggy? Anybody find her a little bit drag queenish? Maybe that's why I like her. I don't know. What are you saying that she's droopy or <laughs> that she looks like a man? Well, that like if you just saw the face. I'm trying to interpret draggy. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you just see like, the face, he thinks she'd sound like me. <laughs> She would sound like this. She's not. And she would come oh, out man, on stage man. to like uh, some Look. sort of s- song about surviving or survival <laughs> or men being rained some about. Some kind of transition <laughs> song. Yeah. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> let's go ahead and uh, welcome uh, our guests and our third. Uh, it's, we'll go uh, left around this way. Uh, to my left is Jason Green. Jason, how's it going? Local stand up. It's going pretty great. Writer. Uh, Screenplay writer, you're writing a screenplay, oh, yeah. right? Sure, as far as you know. As far as yeah, <laughs> he's always at Starbucks. That's how you know he's writing a screenplay. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. Where's your I don't know if you are. big ass cup of coffee that you used yeah, to carry? Yeah, where's your thermos? For it's um, like a fucking seventy two ounce of ounces of coffee. Yeah, what are you traveling to space or something? I, I didn't bring it with. Need it all properly. I came properly caffeinated before the show. I didn't. Uh, <laughs> I didn't feel I needed to bring any. Could have filled it with hot way. chocolate. Mm, yeah, hot chocolate's I always good. Up. Can we? Uh, can we? Um, I yeah, don't think he would fit. Let's hang on. Let's start this over. I'm going to run and get some hot chocolate. <laughs> um, cool. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Yeah, we can do that. You get hot chocolate. Uh, oh, are you serious? Are you serious? You're really going to get hot chocolate? Okay. That's fine. That's you guys brought it up. Okay. It is delicious. <laughs> it is delicious. <laughs> uh, I guess do what you want. I mean... Yeah. We want you here for the show. <laughs> uh, to the left of Jason Green is Daniel Blanchard. Shalom. Who's that? We, we never had him on. <laughs> We've. Did I say? Well, I, I said to the left is Daniel Blanchard. Yeah. Did I say he's I been was on just the show many never, times. No. No. <laughs> no? 
Okay, uh, so to the left of Jason Green is Daniel Blanchard, uh, as uh, as uh, my partner there. <laughs> Uh, Alan Clark uh, hinted at uh, you have never been on the show before, right? You've nope. never been on Potential Problems. Have you, have you? Oh, yes, I have. Have you liked the Facebook page? Do that. I have. Okay, nice. And uh, how long? Which episode of Potential Problems podcast have you heard? Uh, I watched one before we came. It was an older one with Jason and I'm a big draw. <laughs> James Morrow. Okay. Jason yeah, you guys talked Mar about his e-cig. His e-cig? Yeah. Nice. We always, always kind of tend to bring up his e-cig. It's always changing. And again, it changed. It it's evolving. Yeah. I thought he had the perfect setup as far as you were concerned. Oh, yeah, just, <laughs> just wasting it. <laughs> Can I have a yeah. pull off of that? Oh, wow. <laughs> just brings that to a halt. I Next year, it's going to be a shoebox with like a, a toilet paper roll sticking off of it. It sounds like a fucking congested person trying to blow their nose, <laughs> just burning it. <laughs> the fucking fire extinguisher. Shit. Yeah, no shit. It's like a fucking fire extinguisher down my throat. Is this like, why is it so like big mouth? Why is the opening so large? <laughs> because, I mean, it's just like, well, you know how Jason's it is. Jason's a big guy. Um, yeah. I got a, uh, it's got a huge. Sort of, I don't know, urethra, really. <laughs> but that's just for maximum volume. All right. Fair enough. <laughs> it tastes good. <laughs> tastes good. And uh, to the left of Daniel Blanchard is our third uh, on Wednesday nights. Welcome, Hola. everybody. Black Mike. How's it going, Black Mike? Mike Ogden, Scout, everybody. Round and round we go. Yeah, where are you coming from? You coming from work, man? No, no. I had to drop off the kid, and then uh, I came over here. I was hanging out with him for a minute. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, so, uh, where, where were you coming from? Were you coming uh, from the other side of the? Oh, okay, yeah. near Manolish. Manolish, yeah. Okay, so sick. I'm a little bit sick. Oh Jesus! No, no. There's a oh, contagion. <laughs> so, uh, how long have you been? How long have you been sick for? Over 48 hours. Yes. Okay, yeah. So you should, you should technically be past the. Yeah, the I'm, I'm clearing up area. now. Uh, uh, where, uh, so you were, how are the streets out there? It's snowing it's, out there for those the of you that are, you take. yeah. Yeah. What, uh, streets did you take? I not the freeway down. or? Oh, no, 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 not out here in the snow. Um, no, I took, uh, San Pedro and came oh, out yeah. San Pedro. San Pedro's yeah. good. Uh, so, but the snow wasn't that thick? Nah, it's not nah. that bad. It's gonna be bad by the time we leave, though. Yeah, I used to. Over. Yeah. yeah, I used to live in Edgewood, and that was like by now, like trying to get out there. Like I had to make sure I was fucking out of town by like six o'clock <laughs> so at I the latest. Yeah, yeah. it's fucking crazy. Uh, that was that was nuts to to drive through. You guys ever driven through a whiteout? Like fucking some yes. snowbound shit. Yeah. Yep. It was the last uh, time you had to deal with that. Anybody? About anybody? ten years ago, I was going uh, south on uh, I ninety five. And uh, I was going through, like, right outside D.C. and Maryland, and there was, a, like, 122-car pileup. 122? Holy shit. 122. It's, like, got so bad, like, I had to get out of my car and, like, chip away the ice from my lights so I could see. Ooh. It was, wow. Yeah, it was scary, man. It was scary. How long were you stuck there for? Stuck? Nah. I grew, you just I grew kept driving? Pittsburgh. I, I got the fuck out. Nah, actually, I, <laughs> I got out, and um, I made it to the mall, so I was like, fuck it, this shit's going to clear up. So I, I fucking watched like Tomb Raider or some bullshit like that. And then <laughs> after I got out, it was like kind of clear. I was like, all right, fuck it. It's cool. Down to Miami I go. <laughs> and uh, that's where I went. Anybody else? Snow stories? Snow yeah. stories? What, what you got, man? Uh, It was... um Great story. Great story. <laughs> Anybody else? <laughs> no, what's, what's your story there, Daniel? No, it's fine. Blanchard. All right. Um... Tell your fucking story. Come on. We want to hear it. We're dying. It was uh, the day after Christmas uh, this year. Um, and we went to Oklahoma to see my mom's side of the family. And uh, going there through, like, Klein's Corners up to around Amarillo was fucked. Oh, yeah. that's uh, That area gets some snow. Very snowy. All the time. Very icy. That's the spot where the radar shows that the snow that's supposed to hit us just goes there. It's bullshit. Yeah. And uh, it's happened that same drive a ton. It's happened probably four or five so times. So who was ago. driving? I was driving for that part. And uh, are you a pretty good snow driver? Were you like white knuckling it, as they say? 
Oh, uh, yeah, but... But what about the driving? <laughs> no, but seriously. <laughs> uh, the <laughs> So the drive was... How long did it take? Um, It probably added... It was only for that stretch, so it probably added... Maybe a couple hours. To Did you drive. see any uh, stranded people? Any people, cars stranded? I saw a Camaro in front of us spin out. Spin out. And what'd you, did you off the side of the road? Did you stop to help, or are you like, ah, fuck did you? Just you. laugh at him and keep driving. It's, he was driving like shit. So fuck him. Yeah, <laughs> he was trying fuck to like him. Go, fuck him. He's driving like shit because he can't get any traction. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but how fast was he? How fast was he? Did he like try and he was, pass you? Yeah, he was passing semis and shit. Yeah, and then you should fine. not pass a semi if they're plowing the way for all the other. No, cars. definitely not. You wait until it's fucking clear, and then yeah. you got fucking tracks. Let's go behind him. Yeah, yep. exactly. Uh, so that was that was your story, huh? Yeah. <laughs> the <laughs> moral of the story, thing. go behind them. Go behind semis and shit. Uh, Alan, In you're fact, tailgate. The s- yes, tailgate. Impulsively. One time when I was 14, um, <laughs> me and my sister and her friend, we went up to the crest and it was snowing. Jafaka! <laughs> no. Your sister's friend, I mean. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he was like, no, what? Who's being defensive? No, but uh, with the, the whole game plan of the day was to go up there with drugs and then leave without them. Yes. And okay. uh, it started, the snow started, like, getting thrown up the mountain as we were coming back, and it was, like, midnight, and uh, it was very terrifying. We were you're, all right. You were geocaching drugs? Yeah. <laughs> geocaching? Yeah. Yeah. You know when you just go out in the middle of nowhere and hide some shit? No, we weren't hiding. When you tell people where you hid that shit? No. Do you mean dead drop? I mean, look, whatever you kids got lingo for now, dead drop. Get out of here. What are you, what are you fucking the underground French resistance or some shit? <laughs> dead drop. No, I'm, I'm just Geocaching, not. Geocaching, bro. Just not on 4chan. Geocaching. I don't like the internet stuff. It's on the internet. Message thing. boards. As we record your podcast. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Live. <laughs> wow, really? Uh, yeah, that's the Oh, guy. shit. Yeah, so you should share that you're on it. This guy. Yeah. Yeah. See did if, I? I think I tried uh, to. You might have. Uh, Pretty sure I did. Anyways, uh, anyways, uh, yeah, so where'd you stash the drugs? They're in the mountains somewhere. Scavenger. Let's go. Team building exercise. Let's go. I was 14, 15. Okay. Roughly, so, so they're aged now. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. They've now that the mold has started to take hold, they've become a completely different substance by now. So, <laughs> so it's yeah. not technically illegal by the chemical makeup of it now. Have you ever have you ever come across a, a stash like that wasn't yours, like or that wasn't anybody you knew? It just like you walked across. You were like walking somewhere and you found a sack or yeah. something like that. Yeah, oh. me and my friends, uh, we were going to a concert downtown. And uh, the night before, we had been out um, in the Bosque, and it was like during fire season when it was all closed down. Yeah. And we got up near Tingley Beach. We're walking through. We had some 40s with us that we drank. And we got the, the smart idea to sing Beastie Boys while yeah. we were on our way. And um, then we got spotlighted by Isleta Police, like <laughs> right off of Isleta Lakes. And we go through this, uh, like it was right as we were coming up to the road, too. And we get spotlighted right at the same level as this guy's at. We drop down, like, behind our skateboards to see what was going to sort of happen. Yeah. And then the dude sort of gets out and starts coming for us. So we just immediately turn around and run into offensive barbed wire. <laughs> no, that's yeah. not good. Yeah, we all got puncture holes in our knees. Yeah. Real fun. And uh, so we, we ended up escaping um, by just running back the direction we came from, even though we were all really drunk. And the next day, we went to the concert and uh, found a bag of weed literally right behind a police car on the ground. Oh, you think said so, like someone was getting fucking put in the car or something, yeah. or they were like, being... or the police fu- forgot some fucking because uh, it was like right behind as the police car was pulling away. You didn't they think, must have dropped it. You didn't think that? Did you look around as oh, you picked it we picked it up? We drove around. Sure, yeah, we drove around. We were in a car when we saw it, so we pull around the block again. It's like right across from the Sunshine and NYPD that little hmm. parking lot. Yeah, and uh, so we pull around well, again. Well, they're kind of out of their jurisdiction, but I guess you still have to be and, careful. Yeah, New York pizza. <laughs> okay. Uh, so we pull around again, and by the time the cop car had left, I opened up my door and leaned out of the car as they drove real slow past that oh, spot, shit. and I just scooped it up scooped and we drove up. away. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. It was like a good eighth of an ounce. It was a lot. Fucking a. Yeah. Holy shit! All tied up, like clearly the guy was a distributor. <laughs> oh shit! Tied up in a little bag. <laughs> Anybody else ever find find something like that? Yeah. Mm. 
You've been it wasn't around quite here as random. I, the first time I did acid, it was because we found it. <laughs> really? Oh, wow. How did you know it was acid? It was in... A container labeled acid. acid. <laughs> <laughs> it was in someone's wallet. We knew the person whose wallet it was. They left their wallet behind. Oh, I see. Nice. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Uh, so it wasn't exactly like we just happened upon it, you know what I mean? But, but you know. In the jerk tree, that, that would be yeah, stumbling upon it. Yeah, yeah. So I think we did acquire permission to uh, to take it. Um, as, as I recall. As yeah, much you got as medical permission. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, and that was actually uh, it's a good, it's fairly good story. It's on a night like this. It was uh, it was in Albuquerque. It was snowing, <laughs> um, and that was the whole reason everything went sideways. Is because uh, I was a senior in high school, and it was the last day um, before Christmas break. It was like the last day of school, you know, before Christmas break. And I was over at this girl uh, Amy's house, and it was my girlfriend at the time, and. Um, we uh, it started snowing and we were like, oh, we're gonna be snowed in all night and everything like that. Um, so we're like, let's take this acid, right? So we took the acid <laughs> and uh, suddenly <laughs> we got a phone call from my parents that um, oh, we got to leave for Oklahoma again. I, oh, I thought Oklahoma it was gonna be was if, if, if it's don't a take driving in the in the in the snow. I thought the message would be don't take the yellow sunshine acid. No. No, no, that's not the message at all. Um, if you come across yellow sunshine acid, it's probably pretty good. Take five. not according to Woodstock. Uh, that's the brown acid. Ah, right. brown acid. God damn it! I suck. Don't, I mean, why? Why? You know. <laughs> I need to know the difference between my acids. I'm not sitting here making regular show references. You know what I'm saying? So like, don't bother with trying to make Woodstock references. You know, I'm not gonna leave it. Regular show. Isn't that a cartoon? <laughs> it is, but someone watches it. It's actually uh, whoever fucking writes that show. He grew up the same fucking period I grew up. Mm -hmm. I can relate to that fucking cartoon. Yeah, like, I'll get mad at myself <laughs> if he doesn't record it. But you know what? That's two weeks. Lock fucking down. You know. Yeah. <laughs> Each episode I miss is a week. <laughs> no, I have. I have I, I'm not into that. So anyway, because it started snowing, <laughs> um, <laughs> like it is tonight, my we were going to go to Oklahoma for Christmas and stuff, um, and my parents were like, oh, we got to come pick you up now. And you were tripping balls already? Yeah. Were you at the peak? Yeah, it was a, no. <laughs> no, it was probably about an hour after. So you knew it was going to get fucking... <laughs> I knew, well, sort of. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I mean, I knew it was going to be crazy. Well, what's the proper etiquette? I had never done it before. wait to take a friend's drug. Like like, what's the time frame? Like, is it five minutes, an hour? Mm, well, like a, a day to come. If back? I remember it right, <laughs> and it's a long time ago, so uh, if I remember it right, uh, we called him and asked if it was okay. Oh, essentially, like, like bought it from him, sort of in absentia, because just he put the money in my wallet. Just yeah. left his wallet <laughs> behind or already. whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. So anyway, so my parents picked me up. I spent the whole trip in the back seat of their car. It was like a rented car. Um, was it big or small? Fucking blizzard. Small as we're trying to hour. It was a. Uh, it's like a minivan, I think, or like a an SUV kind of thing. But this would have been ninety. Yeah, Astro van kind of thing. <laughs> nice, <laughs> All right. nice Astro van. Yeah. So sophisticated in ninety seven. Something. Yeah, this would have been 90, shit. 91 maybe. Even though it was a real regular van. So you, you uh, start driving, and how long is the drive itself? Like the entire drive, just the drive? Um, it probably was about 12 hours. It's normally about uh, 10. Okay. And so you, maybe it was a little bit more. For the, for the uninformed, usually how many hits did you take? One? Mm -hmm. Yeah, just one. So usually that's a good four to six hour trip, right? Yeah, at least, and that's and and you can uh, usually it's kind of prolonged uh, or intensified by smoking weed, or at least uh, you can have a better trip if you if you smoke some weed. Could you do that? But that's not all? purist, man. You got to take it on its own and learn how to work your feeling. No way. <laughs> Fuck that. I'd rather watch heavy metal. Yeah, either way. 
Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's, a, there's a time for everything, you know. I mean, there's time to watch heavy metal. There's a time to fucking you know explore the other side of the universe, get real Alan Watts on it or whatever. <laughs> um, Was it so? Could you just ask mom and pops? Like, could you be like, "Hey, I'm tripping. I need to smoke a bowl." Was that that kind of family? No. You, no. <laughs> what would have if you? What would have happened if you would have said, "Hey, moms, I just took some acid and I need to smoke a bowl of weed just to." <laughs> <down."> uh, well, <laughs> nah, I don't think there would have been gunplay involved, but. Um, um, yeah, I don't know. I've come to find out my dad is actually kind of terrified of... Of acid? Of, uh, yeah. Or yeah, snow. Hallucinogenics and stuff. No, he's a real big fan <laughs> of snow. Terrified of the idea of them or just being around them at all? Oh, of the idea of, like, doing them. Oh, okay. I mean, of the... Uh, he's not a real uh, hallucinogenic... Did he ever say why? Like, did he know Art Linkletter's daughter or something? Nah, I think he. Uh, <laughs> I think he just window. got a little bit too over propagandized. You know, I mean, he's not that much older than me, uh, so I feel like I have a, a sort of connection to the, like the propaganda of terror. Yeah, you should have like said no. Bad acid is and stuff like that. Because that was the Reagan era, right? Just say no, or was that a little later? Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, it was a little bit later, but this would have been the Bush 1 era, which is still the Reagan era. That's what me and you have in common. We can say that we grew up in the Bush era, despite being separate ages. Wait, It's not historically accurate, but... Me three. A couple different ones. Uh, It's just... (laughs) I'd like to go back to something Jason said. Daddy, right? Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Which was, uh, tell us more about these ray guns that you were saying. You said that we came out of a ray gun area era, and I'm That's just wondering right. what happened to these. How did ray they suppress guns? the technology from uh, you know uh, <laughs> consumer marketing? Well, what you have to do in order, you have to watch X Files backwards, um, <laughs> just in order to, uh, to kind of get an understanding of, of kind of what happened and how everything was kind of kind of put underground and reality was rebooted and. Uh, God, I don't know what was it. It's ninety one, I think it was, um, right before Nirvana came out and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and all the sort of things that inform yeah. our well, Teenage day or Mutant or Ninja Turtles were, uh, came out last year. I hate to, uh, yeah, Jason, you're a little, your bubble, you're a little late. And if you're about to talk about Total Recall, year. same story. <laughs> that was two years ago, but well, same difference. <laughs> yeah, well, that's just it, you know. But that's the point that I'm making. The ray guns were put away. Oh, okay. Armist- a sort of uh, armistice? Mm-hmm. Is that what they call it? Yes. Yeah. Treaty? Mm-hmm. Of sorts, yes. I mean, uh, a sort of uh, intellectual armistice, if you will, uh, <laughs> where sort of the entire world agreed to stop thinking forever. Oh, <laughs> okay. Um because the uh, the ray guns were actually uh, uh, <laughs> I see what you're telepathic. doing. Telepathic. They were they were fueled by the imagination. Yes. Um, and, and and since we decided in approximately 1992 uh, <coughs> with the introduction of uh, Bill Clinton's universe, uh, we were all um, <laughs> with his universe. Sort of decided. Yeah, they had one of those uh, G8 summits or whatever, and they all got together and decided that the future would be devoid of imagination. Wait, there okay. was an, there was an orgy. Um, so there's an yeah, there, well, well, as part of as part of the uh, the G eight summit, they have uh, they have they have the closing ceremonies, <laughs> <laughs> closing <laughs> orgy <laughs> ceremonies. <laughs> what is it like putting the containers back on the food trays and leaving? <laughs> um, well, you know that's that's what the uh, the help does. Oh, you know, the help! While the orgy's going on. No, oh, okay. Oh wow! Cleaning up as you go. Mm-hmm. It's perfect. Mm, symbiosis. Have you guys ever seen that orgy scene in uh, Caligula? Have you no. guys ever seen that movie? You guys, yeah. Jason, you seen? And there's like midgets, and <laughs> it's pretty awesome. And uh, but uh, no nugget porn. I don't oh, think there's any amputees. It's not. Uh, yeah, by 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 today's Ooh. standards and stuff like that, man. It was tame. It's nothing. But no, back in the day, it was pretty heavy. Um, what? Where did that? Yeah, all I think s- the chances of nugget porn go down significantly after the nine eleven era. <laughs> but it was also a pretty low chance between like seventy eight and eighty two. Anything between there, you would have gotten a lot of nugget porn in TV. <laughs> but I don't know why they didn't do it. Maybe they just didn't have enough of the um, the ex uh, Munchkins from the Wizard of Oz who had diabetes. They lose legs. Right. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The ex munchkins. Yeah, it's hard to find an attractive nugget. Uh, they don't have to be attractive. The important thing is that they don't have limbs. I guess is what I was. I was saying. Wait a minute. I was going even further with a midget nugget. A midget nugget. <laughs> Would anybody fuck a midget nugget? A nugget. A, a, nugget. <laughs> a nugget. It weighs like thirty pounds. Then right. Yeah. 
Okay. I mean, it would only weigh 32 with the limbs, but... Well, I feel like a midget arm's probably about a pound. Uh, only in a three-way. Maybe two. When it's, when it's fully hydrated, yeah. But Are they typically don't dehydrated? Drink water. Is that true? Yeah, they don't drink enough water. Why? Because they're not thirsty. They're so, so little, their taste buds are tiny. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know the science behind I the I feel like you're just midgets. bullshitting me that midgets are dehydrated. <laughs> like, that's a chronic thing. It could be. This is what comes of, uh, you know, this is Neil deGrasse Tyson's world right here, Alex. <laughs> and you're, you're the leader. You're the soldier. <laughs> you're out front. You know, this is science. You're, 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 talking about, uh, you're talking about dehydrated midgets and calling it science. <laughs> and uh, who do I blame? Neil deGrasse Tyson. Yeah. Why? Why do you blame him, though? Um, there's, no, there's no reason to throw blame. He explained, well... Yeah, he explained this midget thing to you, didn't he? A little bit. <laughs> yeah, boom. Yeah. There you go. He's like the big scary rabbit in Donnie yeah, Darko. I was, the, I, was, I was the six-year-old in the video that asked him, what's the meaning of life? And he told me all about midget and nugget porn. It's hilarious. What did you guys think of uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson's um, uh, his Christmas Day tweet about, uh, what was it? Um, uh, let's see here. You, you remember it was like December. It was Christmas Day, and he tweeted uh, so many years ago, or so and su- such and such many years ago, uh, a man was born who would change uh, history forever, or whatever. You know, it was like, mm-hmm. and a lot of people th- thought he was referring to Jesus, the little baby Jesus. He's talking about <laughs> Ian or, uh, or Shane uh, McGowan. Yes, <laughs> is that right? I think he was talking about. Uh, was it uh, Isaac Newton? Is that? Uh, probably. Yeah. 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 Did you Nerd. Was it, it, yeah. It was yeah. something like, uh, uh, on this day many years ago, a man was born who by age 33 would change the entire world as we know it. Happy birthday, Isaac Newton. And then. That uh, wasn't a direct quote, it probably was. And then. <laughs> yeah. You can only do so much. You can only get so much of the quote with 140 characters. It's all that snarkiness, that for one thing. You know what I mean? This like, he's a celebrity science guy. You know? He's not like a scientist. <laughs> he's a celebrity <laughs> science guy. Are you? Sa- I heard he's like a, like a year away from the cure for Some cancer AIDS. Academic. Cancer AIDS? <laughs> yes, cancer Those are the AIDS. worst kind of AIDS and cancer. John. What is that? That's nugget porn. Holy fuck! Hold on. <laughs> yeah, take the phone. So just to describe, <laughs> shit. there's a chick crawling, ac- like pulling herself across the bed by her <laughs> arms. She has a lot, a lot of upper body strength. Now this I, is what I believe to be half nugget porn. Kind of, but you can't, you can't go all nugget <laughs> oh, porn. This- <laughs> oh no! What's dude. happening? I haven't seen it. She uh, is uh, positioning her stumps in a way that they might be positioned uh, in a movable fashion. Adam, uh, just picture Adam. here. Here, check it out. Anybody wants to look? Anybody? Oh yeah, check it out. Oh, she's a. I don't know what the fuck oh. she's. Doing. <laughs> Jesus, that is a lot of movement. Let Black Mike describe this. Give the give the mic to Black Mike. Let's see what. It, it, just give us a play by play here, Black Mike. Come on. All right. So, it looks like she has like. Do you ever see like a wall a walrus on the so beach? Right. <laughs> it looks like there's two of those at the bottom. <laughs> it's really it's it's throwing me off because she has these nuggets and her arms are so long. <laughs> so she has like, Jesus. Jump further. <laughs> oh, and, and, and you know she's no. been like this for a while because she's just like comfortably putting lotion on the nugget. <laughs> like it's nothing though. Like like wait, Mike, could you could you like say that nuggets get dried out? They, I, I would have to say that. I'm just saying, I, I can fuck a, a nu- I can fuck a nugget just because it's a lot of fucking work. <laughs> I gotta pick her up. I gotta go to her house and pick her up. <laughs> I gotta carry this bitch up the stairs, <laughs> and then I gotta drop you off at home. You know what they would be good for? Like portable pussy. <laughs> you just keep it in your backpack. Yeah. You know, you can get a break 15 minutes. You know what? Like chicks do with those dogs. I'll be right back, yeah. You know, you put your nugget bitch out your bag. She <laughs> reminds me of like one of those uh, WWE wrestling pillow pals. You guys remember those wrestling pillow pals from oh, back in man. the day? They took it to a They're like WWE they and they're like, oh my dude. god, what the fuck is up? Let me see. Pass that shit he's, back. He's Let holding her nuggets shit. like gears, boy. I put it in fourth, baby. <laughs> Press play. 
Oh, man. No, oh, no. <laughs> yeah, I think it was only a matter of... Because we've seen the tentacle porn on the show. We've looked at uh, Jada Stevens, which, let's be honest, is nothing compared to nugget porn. It was really good. But, uh, yeah, this is our crossroads right now. Where's we the are... volume? I want to hear the volume on this. Oh. <laughs> Why? Because I want to hear it. All you'd hear is... <laughs> and... <laughs> Where's the volume? You don't understand. You don't understand droid phones, you Windows phone user. I do understand droid phones. There you go. Let me, look, look, let me, uh, there you go. It's on that side. You got to figure out the volume. Caesar. <sighs> Speakers on the back of the phone. Is there even any volume on it? Press play and then hit the volume. This is a disaster, isn't it? As far as commentary goes. We We're all just so intrigued. Maybe. Like, uh, yeah, maybe nugget, a little bit. You can't exactly think you can be very conversational while looking at something like nugget porn. Well, there was just to describe what what was going on there in that last a video. Very, there was a very large man, right? Obese now. man, and You'd you say could obese? tell you could tell that the size of his thighs doesn't matter. Obese, like Della Reese. Yeah, the size of his thighs doesn't matter because he's fucking somebody with no legs. <laughs> 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 so it's he's... direct entry. You don't even need legs to get in the way of your thighs like, got like, like like does this guy go home like it's a bad day at work and he's complaining to his buddies he's like you know what this this bitch couldn't even lotion up her fucking nugget you know how dry it was down there you know it's like fuck i'm not going back to fucking work tomorrow you know Oh, I hate that. Wait, joke. was she was she like <laughs> greasing up the end like the? Stumps? Oh, like it was nothing. Like so imagine could... if you got your legs cut off tonight. Well, and the tomorrow ice... you would have to adjust because it would kind of be weird, right? Yeah. No, not her. She was like, Psh. she's an old pro. Like, she was just on it. You know, it's like she knew where the crevices of the nug was and how well, to get the lotion in there. When you're lotioning up a nugget. <laughs> I think the question is, what kind of lotion? You know, I mean, is it sweet and sour? Is it barbecue, honey mustard? You know? <laughs> nuggets. Well, just, I, otherwise, it I can't really be in the moment. Or not. Ranch barbecue? Ugh, ranch on nuggets? Yes, ranch Yeah, there's nuggets. already too much cream involved with nugget porn. <laughs> if, if she was in a way, here's the thing I don't understand. If she was an old pro at being a nugget... Then why did the ends of her legs, the, her little stumpies, why did they look like they were tied off sausage ends? Maybe and they still had that, you know, you know when you pick up a, one of those tubes of hamburger there meat are and it's bones the end inside is tied of legs. <laughs> and it looks yeah. like someone just got the skin and like fucking put a bread tie around the end. Like, like who's the guy? I want, I want, I want to see the conversation when they decided to do nugget porn. And said, all right, there she is. Who's going to ask her? You know, like how do you approach her? <laughs> Like, well, you yeah, you know, it's just. Oh yeah, no way. You have, She's to, got you have to bend down to her. <laughs> She's got a name. Get on one knee. Get on one and knee. Listen here, you want to make some money, right? You just pick her up. <laughs> it's still, once again, still a lot of work mm -hmm. involved. Mm -hmm. You know, <laughs> when you pick her up, you really pick her up. Okay. <laughs> uh, How can she? Oh man, I feel bad for nugget people. How do you escape <laughs> violence? Guys, porn creating empathy. Yes, empathy for the, for the future, for the legless. I don't know uh, which would which would you rather do? One of those age old questions: a girl with a chick with no legs or a chick with no arms? Huh? Well, reminds me of a mama joke I used to use. A mama joke. No yeah. arms, definitely no arms. Yeah, uh, your mama has one arm and swims in a circle. <laughs> <laughs> Which would you rather fuck, Jason Green? What, no legs or no arms? Yes. Um, gotta get the direct entry. Uh, I gotta go, yeah, no legs. Ed, you got the direct entry. It's fucking perfect. Yeah. No like legs. the fat guy in the video showed. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Daniel, what did you say? Arms. All, no, Why? I gotta have arms. Because it's weird. <laughs> But well, think about this. <laughs> All right, so so so, like, so, so like, she has no arms, so she listen, can jerk if you're, you off with her feet. Yes, you didn't think about that. I don't, I don't even have shit. up with her feet. I don't have uh, foot fetish. So that means nothing. Everything she does, fingering with her herself feet. with her. Oh, <laughs> that's the whole point. If she doesn't have Would it still arms, still be fingering yourself. The old can't jack you off. Uh, how's it even gonna get started? How is it? 
feet. Oh, feet. Hey, feet. feet. Yeah, I don't know. No arms. That's and too. That's too weird. To I mean, rough because she does. So no, much with their feet, no. You know what I mean? Come yeah. on, Black Mike. They're just, they're just ruin athletes, it like that. Fit, athletes' foot ridden. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're all fungal. You pull the sock off, it pulls off a little layer of skin too. Oh, <laughs> they're like. There's no. There are no socks. angles. There's no angles where like you're not gonna notice that she doesn't have arms. Yeah, <laughs> but there's mo- but there's plenty of angles where you're not even gonna <laughs> yeah. notice that she. Yeah, doesn't except have for legs. with every thrust, you're pumping into her stubs. You know how much fucking thrust you can get with no legs. I know, but you- oh god, I'm gonna try to bounce the bitch off the ceiling. Mm. Mm-hmm. Is it like when somebody on the bus like jumps when we hit a speed bump? No, 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 no. no. Oh, and here's then, like, smash their head on the top oh, of the bus. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, 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 I want to have. I want her holding her. Well, yeah. No, you. Just, her you find a girl with no get her to <laughs> Suspend herself from the ceiling fan. JC, you're a genius. <laughs> you're a genius. God, I can play so many games with this. You know? Yeah, yeah. Oh. So I, I was looking at it? more videos, and just the names of some of the videos I had to show John. One of them was called Human Toilet Bowl. It was a midget fucking oh, a, a no. chick, and she is sucking an amputee's dick. <laughs> it's just, John, what are some of the names you're looking at? <laughs> <laughs> Let me read you some of these fine titles here, my get friend. Back from the war, it's been hard to get pussy. Uh, the one, the you one need a job. <laughs> it's so weird when you're a thing on the internet, and the thing that you're doing on the internet is looking at the internet, so as to suggest to people, you know what, you guys should go look at something on the internet after they're, they're done, porn. of course. <laughs> Look at how awesome it is to look at stuff on the internet. Well, some of these some of these titles are pretty romantic. Look, uh, we have leg amputee blonde gets her snatch pumped. <laughs> <laughs> that one, uh, naughty booty Latina blows and rides old man. Uh, oh he man. is an amputee. Oh, ooh, this one looks like a fucking tied up sausage. What's look. it called? Oh look yeah, that. that's that's one I was originally looking at. That's just a leg. It looks like a walrus. Yeah, that's a knee. It's oh a yeah, knee but nub. it's just the one minute version that's not the yeah. good one yeah there's a lot of short videos on oh, this God. about nugget porn yeah, there's not see. it's not like you're gonna find hour long videos of nuggets you're not gonna yeah, that, it's all their little just heart like, will just explode after an hour of sex don't have that type of stem. oh here's a nice one uh, no legged grandpa gets his nasty oh, old geez, dick sucked <laughs> <laughs> and, and the sad part is they're making money yeah. that's, that's, you know damn. what I mean Nice. It's not on the internet if you're not yeah, making That's money. easier for her to deal with. <laughs> it goes both ways. That's the thing about, uh... God, I don't know. These I'm are probably about the same guys who have been at the bestiality shit. They're like, what's next, guys? What's next? You know? Nugget porn. Let's uh, fucking do hmm. it. I think they think of the idea, and then they think, like, what can we call it? You know? Because, like, most yeah. porn has a Come nickname. snorting yeah. Asians caught on real quick. <laughs> it did. <laughs> <laughs> but nuggets, like it's not amputee porn. It's not what it's well. Like. That's what all the videos are called on the sites as amputee, because the sites are trying to be politically correct yeah. for some reason. We can't offend our audience by calling them nuggets. <laughs> Here, here's uh, for you chubby chasers. This one is titled "The Erotic Stump Rub." Check out this fucking erotic rod. stump rub. I'm wondering if she lost her her leg. I can't uh, get just into it. Trying to support her own weight. I'm a chubby <laughs> chasey. Uh, check out. You guys want yeah, it's like in a cartoon where there. somebody's knees will just buckle out, just <laughs> yeah. separate from the leg entirely. <laughs> tears off like some sort of piece of paper. Just yeah. Yeah, that's, that's why they put the rubber band thing around like, the end of the leg to make it look like a sausage casing. Yeah. Sausage casing. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we. What was that way that That's they? The uh, Stairmaster's a bitch when he ain't got legs. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Arms all buff. <laughs> it's called the torture master at that point. Yeah, yeah. Like he's up there ripping dicks off. And shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's actually Jesus. just called the. Uh, it's called the stair. It's still called the stairmaster, but they changed the way it's stair is spelled. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, like the the nuggets. Like, because I'm pretty sure they walk around on their hands. It has to be easier. Do they wear shoes on their hands? It, look, it, like depends, on how much money. it depends on how much money yeah, they have. Like, yo, do you walk? Do they walk on the knuckles like gorillas? 
Yeah, they would have to. It'd have to be so this, this. This motion would hurt your wrist. I'm sure like they have a cart that, that they wheel themselves on, like a little vehicle? flat platform on wheels. <laughs> it all depends on how much. <laughs> yeah, money haven't you, got. you ever seen? There's that. There's that uh, photo of like the pit bull on a skateboard or whatever. I love that rapper. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know he skateboards. Is he a war veteran? <sighs> I don't know. Maybe he took up skateboarding after the AHA remake of Take On Me. Did he do that? It was awful. It was with a couple people. Has anyone heard that? Yeah. No. It was a big thing last year for some reason. Really? Yeah. How many times did he say his name? Uh, I think four. Okay. That's modest for a song that he's only featured on. (laughs) But um, nugget people that do nugget porn are the same people in the Chris Angel Lower body disappearing. Shaq tricks. balloon. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure he used uh, an amputee Shaq version balloon. of Shaq. <laughs> Shaq amputee yeah. <laughs> to make the balloon slightly smaller. <laughs> we were uh, we were just talking about uh, stuff on the internet to watch as far as uh, the the old amputee porn. Uh, Alan uh, found us some real winners this week, uh, and uh, we wanted to go ahead and get to a couple of those, uh, as we only do an hour long show now on Wednesdays. I know, I know. Hide your disappointment next time you see Aww. us. Wait a second. An hour? Yeah. An hour, yeah. And we're at 40 minutes and 46 seconds. Yep. And we are. And uh, and Black it, Mike. It's a matter of marketing. We try to get people like, fuck, we want more because we got 30 minutes taken away from each episode. Yeah. It's so. a good tactic. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. As, as we near our 100th episode where Sam Winters will eat the Carolina Reaper pepper. Yes, that's, what I, Reaper. that's what I call my dick. He will, <laughs> he will only have ice cream and Pepto-Bismol that's to help the, him oh, out. Oh, my mistake. That's what I call my asshole. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Watch Sam Winters eat the old ghost pepper, folks. On the hundredth episode, so, you guys gonna watch that? There's yeah, gonna be a be lot good. of ranch coming out of that yeah. ghost pepper. Yeah, it's gonna be a Saturday or Wednesday. So it's gonna be a Saturday. <laughs> it's gonna be Valentine's Day, actually. Yeah, it's gonna be the fuck Valentine's it's be a Day fuck show. Valentine's Day show. Valentine's Day will be fucked on this show. <laughs> We're gonna bring in a girl that is wearing something uh, that says Valentine's Day, or we might just bring her in, write Valentine's Day across that ass, and we'll all take turns fucking her. <laughs> Cream pies, Thotho, my friends. And, and, and we'll just put like two live crew on repeat. Yes. You know, me so horny. Uh, me so horny is definitely going into the mix on that one. Uh, so uh, anybody, uh, as far as uh, any of the You're present welcome. guests, yes, if you down to attend that let us know yeah. uh we'll give out the details another time yeah. <clears throat> but we'll probably do a regular saturday show for that one yeah yeah 245 i think i got uh, <laughs> oh fuck <sighs> anyways uh, well uh, let's get to these internet videos yeah, you, you guys Alan? you guys can't relate to uh rap um and the lifestyle oh, yes. the nice lifestyle of rapping so much me and mike we know right fist pump uh, we we both had our our, our times in rap, and um, you were pretty good. Mike, uh, come come sit over here real quick for a second. Yeah. I w- I'd like you to give your we're gonna, perspective. We're gonna on chat about here. rap. Uh, not too long ago, actually, Mikey Mays called me out on my rapping while I was on stage because I mentioned that I was holding the microphone like was a that rapper. Was that Yeah, yeah, I was there. Yeah, yeah, it was fun. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Fucking, you don't call people out on their shit unless you really. Well, I mean, you kind of know. Yeah. You were asking people, like, oh, what's your greatest fear? Yeah, no. We don't need to talk about that yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I've I've had I've had enough of that one, I think. Yeah. It was hilarious when you called my sister's friend a lesbian, though. That, that was, wasn't even on stage. No, I know. I'm just saying, on a personal <laughs> level, like, last week at Nexus, it was hilarious. Well, I... <laughs> she hated it, but I found it yeah, funny. Yeah, she did get a little bit offended. Well, that's what she gets for having a lesbian haircut. Well, there right? you go. You're going to get labeled some shit. But, uh, Mike, you know the rap game. Just like by wearing oh, this oh, yeah. Yeah, this shirt, right. I get labeled as like a, you know. Illuminati. Uh, well, Illuminati <laughs> or Pothead. Yeah. Yeah. So, Mike, did you ever get to, like, record shit ever? Yep. Did uh, you have to do it on your own computer? Or was no, it, like, someone no, else's? This was back in the day. I, I First song I ever recorded, I was 12 years old. How'd you do it? Wow. I was like, what were the methods back then for recording? Uh, this was all on, like, tape. tape. Yeah. Oh, shit. This is probably about, I might have been, like, 11. So maybe 91. I wow. was in Germany. And uh, I wrote a rap. German rap, yeah. 
Well, no, no. Well, it's like, I, you know, I had just landed from Pittsburgh. So it, it Yo, my name is Klaus, and I make the German rap, and my family oh, escaped from German a concentration camp. <laughs> <laughs> This is this is sick. See, I still rappers. got I still got the rhymes. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like I wrote my rap on like you know the uh, fifth grade paper. Has yeah, the, the, the white ruled. Yeah, I still use exactly. that. I wrote oh yeah, me too. A rhyme on that and left it on the coffee table. It had all types of cuss words and then all types of swears. My mom found it. Oh no. Oh yeah. Oh. I was, I, and like you should have just said, Mom, I'm just writing down Tupac shit. Well, she 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 didn't tell or was me. Was that like even a before week, Tupac? Though. This is now Tupac had just little, dropped his first okay. album. Okay, yeah. it was relevant. Yeah, it was relevant. And then like uh, me and my homeboy used to walk around bass and just like uh, sing the song, like Run DMC style. I'll do one line, he'll do the other, right? Yeah. And then like I came home and I was like, I couldn't find my my lyrics. You know, I felt like house party. Yo, where's my lyrics? <laughs> um, and then my mom was like, uh, Did you write this? I was like, uh, Yeah. <laughs> So, all right, you and your friend, y'all get in the car. We're leaving. And then we just drove for like a half an hour, and we got to one of her friend's house, and he had a studio in his crib. So he laid down the track, and we recorded it. And So wait, how do you layer all that stuff together with when it's through tape? Nice. Because you have we, to do it all we, through one mix. So Like, I understand it now, putting it all it on, on one computer. Well, it's still, like, different <laughs> tracks. So, you know, you got eight tracks. So you got to have them all playing at the same time on different no, shit or what? No, record them separately. Well, I, yeah, I get that part. But then how do you get them to mix together at the end? That you got to bounce yeah. that shit. Well, yeah, but how do you... <laughs> you got to bounce the tracks. Wow, he put his hood down and everything. <laughs> the fuck? Hey, listen here, Young. Listen here, Young. This is how you do it, Young. It just made magic. You know what I'm saying? That's what I do in the studio. I just make magic. You understand, son? Magic like Johnson, I getting Nate's so living. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Bust that flow. Bust that flow. <laughs> what, what was your best rhyme that you had? Uh, it was a fast one that I wrote at a, a haunted house I was working at. I was nice. in the Pentagram Monk Room. I attribute the quickness of the rap and the way the lyrics flow together to the fact that it was in a Pentagram Room. So it was like a bone type fast? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Right, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, it was I even know it to this day. Bust it. It's about uh butter. Oh yeah, bust it. We gotta hear it. Bust it. But it's about medicated cannabis butter. Alright. Yeah. Let's hear it. I'm the bigger butter getter when you get the can of butter, dip the bread and butter, water, make it eat it when I wanna make it out of marijuana, bacon like you in a sauna, smoke too much and you are gonna cannabis stops when we wanna. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Jason, oh, what do you think? Jay Sun? Yo, that's just Sorry. 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 <laughs> you could be like Will I Am and just spell your name J A Y S O N. Like with a dash between it. I spell my name with silent letters, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, Q and an R mixed in there. <laughs> yeah. If it makes you feel better. When I'm getting that cheddar and. Uh, the girl is getting wetter. And I'm opening a letter that I stole from a mailbox down the street. But this guy only <laughs> fucks chicks with no arms but has feet. <laughs> this is hardcore right now. This is the most like hardcore I've been in. this year. Yo, walking down the street and I'm grabbing my balls. I saw the Mexicans playing wall ball. Yeah. <laughs> this is like deep I don't know poetry, where to go with dude. that. That's, <laughs> that's deep. Yo, that's deep. That's deep. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you feel me? You feel me, Jay Green? Yeah. <laughs> Jay Green. That's what I'm saying. I Kinda. call you son because you shine like one. <laughs> Kinda. <laughs> I'm an anti-hype man. I'm like, the beat stops when he has to say something on mic. Nah, you know those, uh, you know how when you go jogging with weights on your legs, right? <laughs> That's me, right? And I'm an anti-hype man. And then you when got, you're done, you go you fry gotta, up some eggs. You got you got to flow despite, despite despite the kind of weird energy I'm putting out. Yo, I'm feeling that, son. Yo, son. That shit was the illest shit ever. Young. <laughs> so is it fair to say at some point each of us has had our rap careers ruined? Oh, yeah. Mine was ruined. Um, I went down to Miami to uh, make a rap rep record with my homeboy, right? We were a group back in high school. And uh, once I got what down... What were you guys called? Uh, we, we never, ever, actually never came up with a name. No? No, we never did. Uh, that was the first thing we did. We figured branding is the most important. We came up with our individual <laughs> names, though. Oh, I was Citrus. Yeah, I was I, I was the mystery. And he, no, see, because I had this line up. 
uh, I'll bust some citrus in your eye. <laughs> yeah. It's real bust hardcore. Citrus in your eye, bitch. Yeah. You should add a bitch. A bitch would have helped that. Bitch. 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 Could, adding that bitch could have launched your career. Probably. <laughs> My rap career was ruined. Right now, No Potential Problems podcast. Where you see, yeah. see you on stage with Eminem fucking bitches and... Does Eminem <laughs> fuck bitches on stage? <laughs> well, we'll I know Tech Nine likes stage. to rap into chicks' pussies. Really? Yeah, he's done that the last couple times he's been here. That's pretty. He brings weird. a chick up on stage. They sit in a chair and he raps. He like yeah, he like raps into their pussy. Like, 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 like outside of the pants. Oh, okay. I was but gonna say right like, at it. It's bitch, really pull weird. Your pussy out because I got the the DJ's ready. So <laughs> pull your p- pussy out. I got half an hour left. She got that wah 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 the drip drip drip. Yeah. And they love it, don't they? Yeah, they do. I don't understand why. Uh, every once in a while, since it's at you sunshine, you'll see the people along the walls pinning their girlfriends to the walls and I'll, fucking them. I'll tell them. you why. Because at that moment that she's being fucking degraded, she thinks she has the opportunity to suck this guy's dick. Yeah, but she doesn't. Man. As I, soon as I, she I was done, she went right back into the audience. Really? I was hoping that Sunshine Security would escort her outside. <laughs> <laughs> like they do with the people that get in fights. Like confused. Like, how the fuck did we let you Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How'd you get Alan, Alan was just jealous. No one wrapped into his pussy. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, my dreams were crushed because I smoked too much weed once I got to Miami. It was... I didn't write one rap. <laughs> but you, you guys had your own way to get shit done. That didn't really depend on a bunch of other people, right? No. Nah, well, like, once I got older, like, in the military, you know, that's when I started discovering, like, shit you can do with computers and shit, you know? Because, like, right now, I don't see why any rappers ever fucking sign, signing a record deal. Never, yeah, just make it yourself. I'm Even never. the people who are popular now. Because all you really got to do is just get popular in your own city. You can make enough money. And you hire city. one person to make this, to yeah. record it, and one person to produce the actual CDs. And that's the thing. If you if you make it and support it for your own city and hip-hop, other cities are going to be like, yo, wh- why can't we get on that? They, they feel excluded, and they want to be excluded. Yeah. So that's going to just raise your revenue and raise your fan base. I just don't see why people are looking at fucking sign with, like, Def Jam and shit. I'm like, fuck you. I am my own Def Jam. Yeah. yeah. Makes a lot of sense. Well, we're about to watch Word. somebody else's rap career be oh, destroyed shit. within about 20 seconds. I want to see it. So, just uh, enjoy this. Sorry about that. We got another complaint. Everybody stop doing what they're doing. Yeah, I'm not in the mood so I'm not in the mood either. I get angry so much. So, so, so I'm pissing me off sometimes. I'm getting angry. Me too. So I'm, I'm, I feel disrespected now. The music's because still I playing. I five times today. Okay, so I'm going to ask you to close it and uh, you have to leave this for today. Just for today. Come back from my music career tomorrow. Right? Can I back, come back from my music career tomorrow? You can come back. We enjoy you. We're fans. I'm done. I'm done. My music. He's done with his music. Career. Come back tomorrow to my music. Your music tomorrow, but you can Why you ruin my career now? Why you pissing me my career now? Why you ruin my career now? I'll get angry on you, yo. Don't tell me to get angry at me, huh? I ruin my career now. I'm going to ask you to calm down, please. Okay, we always have good conversations. Oh, the retard strength. Yeah, this is this going somewhere? I'm not treating you disrespectfully. I'm just asking you. I don't please. have a laptop. I don't have a laptop anymore, huh? I don't have a laptop, huh? You're so he's making it a nap. You know what? We're done. I'm gonna kill my sub. Don't fucking piss me off, huh? I'm fucking angry, huh? <laughs> this is like, Look at that face. Ghetto American Idol oh. right here. <laughs> You know what? I don't fucking care about you. I don't care about you anymore. I'm not my Jamaican. Oh, you're that blood clot. Get the fuck out the way. That's some serious shit right there. Blood clot. I don't know what it means. I just know it's some serious shit. Yeah. That's uh, that's how his career was ruined. Uh. Some of the comments on the video, though. <laughs> oh, God, were they racist. Oh, I bet. Oh, God, were the comments. One of them, you could tell, just was supposed to be read in a British accent because it was in a nature documentary format. 
of like how this guy's day is going. <laughs> and one of the commenters on that, uh, whose name was um, uh, Nate Higgers. <laughs> it's like that classic uh, switch of the first letters. So, uh, Tickle bitties, yeah. but a lot of the comments are just saying, Oh, this poor guy, he's retarded. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> have my rap, ca rap career ah. ruined. I kill myself, dog. So, his career was gonna launch the moment he left his store, yeah. As soon as he bounced a file from GarageBand, <laughs> it just kills me that the song was playing the entire time, just all quiet, like he was supposed to be getting into the real serious part of the rap. I mean, that some somber piano just. Ding, 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 ding. That is. Is the this track. like an Apple Store? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. an Apple Store. He should just release it. At, I mean, the, you know, if it was still recording in GarageBand, he could get that all, beat, kind of mix it. Yeah, you know, I, he's got band. the track right now. Oh, you know, he's got the track. I mean, if I mean the 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 hook that Fuck he was when saying. He was rapping. <laughs> You know, this him getting kicked out, you know what I mean? It's like... Uh, it's going to sell the record. Reality music, you know? It's what, like it's reality like TV, jail. Exactly. you know? Yeah. yeah. It's time to start listening to reality music. But just check out People the flow. Their check out and shit. Check out his sick, wicked flow. <laughs> That's as far yeah, as he gets. It I sounds like he judge. had like a... Uh, like yeah, a my team, it's one of those... He Casio. And you just start One of those weird it. Latin beats. But I mean, we, whoa, whoa, whoa. He sounds like he's from like Brazil or somewhere with his accent. No, you don't Jamaican. talk a fucking word. He's Jamaican. You hear blood clot. I'm going Is that a Jamaican to thing? romp with me. Yeah, boom, blood clot. Boom, blood clot. Yeah, blood clot. Yeah, that's Jamaican. Start to tell without dreadlocks, but. I like how he thinks he can just come back tomorrow even though the store will still be open with customers inside. Like he's not connecting the fact that it's because the people in the store don't like what he's doing. I would go there to see him. I think that would be fucking fun. It would, yeah. Just like create a little concert in store. Yeah. There was one time before one of my rap shows that me and my friend had to go down to the UNM bookstore to burn a CD from yes. our files that we had on a flash drive to be able to do our show that was an hour later. Talk about That was prepared. at the Albuquerque Peace and Justice <laughs> Center. You want to know what song we had that we started with? Booty Shaking Bitches and Fast Ass Cars! <laughs> yeah. You're on your way, Alan. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, we moved up. Uh, the last song we did was called Till the Fat Bitch Sings. <laughs> it was just talking about fat people falling off of stages and stuff and killing people. <laughs> Solid. Yeah. Yeah, that was that was the extent of my uh, my rapper career. See, this guy should be in a subway with the boombox, you know, doing the work. Not trying to fucking, like, take the fast track through an Apple store or whatever. The the, the, the the unstated problem with this whole fucking thing is that he's in an Apple store. This is the last chapter of a sad story. No, he was like, in the Apple store because he thought that his album would get added to everybody's iPhones and iTunes like U2's album did. Because it's through iTunes. Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, but I'm just saying, like, uh, <laughs> you know, he's already lost all of his friends who have, like, MacBooks at home. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's already well, he's already burned all yeah. those bridges oh, yeah. by tripping out on you know whatever he did. He to, didn't even have a hype man. I ain't you can't have a hype man right when you're in the Apple Store. Oh, you gotta have yeah. a hype man anywhere you go. You think Flavor Flav wouldn't have walked into that Apple Store, dude? We should make. Are you a, telling me Mike, Flavor Flav Mike, wouldn't have walked into that Apple Store? We should store. make a cut. We should make a video where we walk into some like preppy stores at the mall and just start acting like we're making a music video. I'm with it. You want to do that? I'm with it. We'll figure it out after the show. Holy you shit! That sounds. Know. Yeah, that's that. gonna be. Yeah. <laughs> Those that could be, be the great. theme song to potential broadcast. Yeah, we can act like we're picking like up the clothes and using them as props. Yeah. Exactly. We, we can even like have like you know like extreme camera angles. Somebody with a camera song. running forward and backwards really fast. <laughs> we can do like an LL Cool J. I need love, and we could try to like rap to like an ugly cashier. Yeah. Like, yo, what's up? Baby? I'll just play a normal. And just start rapping. <laughs> yeah, I'll play a generic beat off of my phone. Exactly. And you just hold you gotta, it as you're doing it, and they're like, "Why is he like holding the phone for a music video?" You gotta act like you're playing the phone, though. Yeah. Like you know, like you're making them. Oh, fucking hmm. see, we could be doing that as we're acting like we're rapping before we get kicked out, and then we film the managers giving us shit. Get the fuck out of here. Sample the managers. Like, dude, can we can we have you in the video? Just <laughs> yeah. we just need you to sign this release. Dude, form, we'll give you sir. mad props. Yeah, take the concept way too far. Like, no, we're trying to feature you and get you famous. 
<laughs> you know what? And then eventually security will fuck with us. Oh, too. shit. Hey, girl, I see you working at the Gap. I'm sure you're sick of taking all this crap from your bosses. Why don't you just let us dip you in some sauces? You got some nuggets in your pants? Oh! Uh, let's film this video what? right now. Uh, yeah. Let's. You can work it like what? a cow and squeeze what? your udders to my brothers and everybody what? else. You know what I'm oh. saying? Like, Yo, something like that. Turtles. From my man Jake Green over here. He don't give a fuck, just pee over here in yeah. your face on your nuggets, rubbing in like. This is how we're ending the show, by the way. So, it it like that Black Mike on Twitter, Jason the Green on Twitter. I don't have a Jay Twitter. Jay Quayer Comedy, C Daniel at, at Open Mics, Open Mics at, Facebook, Daniel Blanchard. Hit me up at, at Black Mike. Well, I'm feeling really good at the end of the show. Sounded like the Beastie Boys without the cancer, though. <laughs> And that's all I gotta say, cause I felt like I ran out of words and ran out of way. Oh. See you guys on Saturday, Saturdayzle.